Well, you know, uh, assessment of where we are, we're, uh, you know, we, 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 we're in a better place now. Now that we've uh, been able to get some home games on our bat, we started off at four on the road, which was very tough. Uh, and we played some very good schools during those four. Uh, you know, right, uh, uh, our first three games were against Little Rock, Georgia Southern, Georgia State. Those three are the top three teams in the league. And we lost close games to all three. Uh, very close games to Georgia, uh, Georgia Southern and to uh, Little Rock. And then, uh, you know, a pretty close game to Georgia State. And then we were fortunate enough to get that win against Arkansas State uh, on the second road trip to end the road trip. And uh, But lately we've been playing well. We, we won two at home. Uh, uh, against, I think, a good, very, particularly against at that time, a good Coastal Carolina team, and uh, and then we went on the road and, and and won the two Louisiana school, beat the two Louisiana schools, and so we're in a good place. But we got a great test coming up, UTA. UTA, I think, is playing good basketball right now, so it's going to be, uh, I think, a very, very uh, 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 intense and and, and uh, good game this coming Saturday for us to, and a good gauge to see if we're where we think we are. Thank you very much. Um, our first questions come from uh, Whitney Hayworth. Uh, Whitney, please go ahead. Coach, good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. This, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Obviously, you know, we can't let you go without talking about Nigel Pearson. So what has impressed you about him this season, um, and what does it mean to have him be the Texas State all-time leading scorer at this point in time? Well, Nigel's just doing what he's been doing the last – couple of years uh last you know he's been leading us and scoring he's been leading us as a i mean he's been a leader for us he's a tremendous leader uh he has a very good work ethic and a very good basketball mind uh, and he's a good good mind period i mean he's flirting with a 3.0 on his gpa and he's he's got a very good basketball eye too so you know he's uh i'm very happy for him i i like to see young men who put in great work effort uh, to succeed, and certainly he fits that category. He lives in the gym. Uh, I know he he wants to win the title before he gets out of here. We've come close in two of his first three years uh, of, of getting to the NCAA tournament or getting to the conference title. And uh, I know he would like to, now that he's got this, uh, the monkey off his back as far as breaking the scoring record. I think he's a little bit more focused on uh, than uh, now. I mean, he can. T- I should say he could focus solely on winning the title, and hopefully uh, that'll help him in his uh, in in his performance. That you know he doesn't ha- you know he doesn't have that question you know uh, coming at him all the time about you know can you do you think you can break the title the, you know the all time scoring record. Another key player for you guys has been Mason Harrell. How have you seen him improve from his freshman year to his sophomore year? Uh, you know, he's he's just more mature. He, too, is a tremendous worker. You're talking to the – when we talk about Nigel and Mason, you're talking about the two players who probably stay in the gym on their own more than anybody else. Uh, you know, Mason's assist-to-turnover record is uh, – is pretty good. It's just under three to one. Uh, he, he's, you know, we tell our players we that the goals are 50, 40, 80, meaning shoot 50% from the field, 40% from the three-point line, and 80% from the free throw line. And, you know, after after as of now, Mason is shooting 51% from the field, 44% from the three, and 88% from the free throw line. So, I mean – He's he's having a very good year for a sophomore. Uh, he's he's got a heart of gold, a heart as big as a lion. He takes more charges than anybody on the team. He uh, uh, is a very unselfish player, uh, and he probably needs to be be a little bit more selfish and looking for his own shot. We're uh, and he's just a, a, a great young man, so we're excited about. His his improvement and the fact that he's wearing a Texas State uniform. Well, that's awesome, Coach. And then just last last one from me: as you look at the rest of your schedule, you know what's the key thing that the Bobcats have to do to 
make their way to New Orleans specifically in March? Well, I think we, you know, I tell my players protect home. And and uh, if you protect home and win half or a little bit more than half of your road games, you'll be playing for a comp regular season title. And uh, we're three and three on the road, and we're three and one at home. Am I saying that right? No, we're uh, two and one at home. Two and one at home, and we're three and three on the road. So we did let one get away from us at home, but you know, of, the, of our remaining eleven games, seven are at home, four are on the road. And we have to protect home. If we, and hopefully, we can at least get a split on the road, if not better, and then protect our home. If we do that, you know, I think we have a good chance to contend for the title and and, and certainly get to New Orleans.